He wasn't engaged in school. He was very much social. So he, he was becoming very inner city. He was becoming very urban. He had a swagger. And that was all that he cared about, even though he was really brilliant. So when I brought him here, it was just to get that academic piece. And he, you know, for whatever reason within the African-American inner city community, the peer pressure is don't be smart. You're a nerd. You're a nerd. No kid wants to be a nerd. And so he didn't want anyone to know that he was smart in the public school. So that was, you know, when he came here, the whole listening is we're all brilliant. So he, he could show up. He could show up as the brilliant person that he is in the Delphi community. Academically, what we've seen is that she really has a certainty that she knows the material. She was getting A's and B's in the local high school, but at the end of the year, then she didn't really feel like she knew the material. Whereas here, she gets it, she, she has a lot of wins, she understands that she'll know this material for the rest of her life, and you know, as she's learning these things, she's not just learning it to take a test, she's learning it so that she actually knows it, can apply it, and, and actually has it. Paul was a great student in elementary school, and then he went to middle school, um, public school, which I'm a product of, so that I see no problem with public school, except he started dropping his grades. I googled summer school camps and came up with Delphi. And what Delphi offered that I was looking for was two things, how to study and how to be organized. And he came here for that summer between eighth and ninth grade. He knew by the time the end of school year he was coming down here. So I turned to him and I said, I want you to do four weeks, first time away from home. If you want to do six, you can, but you got to tell me because I have to make the arrangements. So he came down here very happily came down here because that was the deal and let his grades fall he came back and at the end of the first week he calls and he says mom I think I'd like to do the extra two weeks and I go okay so we came down here for and we went for a walk him and I and within five minutes I turned to him and said why do you want to come here and he says because I think I can make the college I want to make from here mom I think I can do it here and I said done he was struggling uh, at school. Um, he had struggled socially and he was sort of coming into his own. But in his academics, uh, he was very well liked by the teachers, but very disorganized um, and just didn't seem to connect. And I, I knew he was discouraged that he wanted to do well, but it just somehow wasn't working for him. So, so when he came to summer school, he really connected. He was excited and motivated and he did one year of high school chemistry in six days. So he was very proud of himself for the first time academically. Uh, he was proud of himself and he was doing well. So when I came to pick him up at the end of summer school and told Julie, the counselor, well, I'm impressed. He's definitely staying here. And Julie said, you know, you don't get to make that decision. He does. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, that's not going to happen. But um, he did. So we sat down in the little entry hall, and I said, so what are you thinking? He turned to me, and he had tears in his eyes. And he said, I think I need to do this. I think this is the best thing for me. And before then, the biggest decision that he'd ever made was, you know, whether to have chocolate or vanilla ice cream. And you know, here he, he was deciding to leave home and go to school far away, uh, kids he didn't know. So it was a, it was a big deal.